What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, folks, how you doing today? Today we're going to have a topic we're going to talk about, we're going to touch on. And I know it's going to be one of these uncomfortable truths you hear in the community, but unfortunately it's one of these truths that we have to talk about in the community to hopefully try to try to help the community, you know, do better as a whole. Now, when I talk about people, I talk about us in general. And I do it, and I don't generalize. I, when I talk, I talk about, and I don't talk in absolutes. I, I don't, when I say I generalize, I don't I talk to people, people in general, but I don't generalize. That means I may say people this, but I mean men and women. I may say women do this, men do this. Of course, we all know all men don't do this, all women don't do this. So, let's get to the, back to the lecture at hand. Today, we're going to talk about one of, the, one of the many uncomfortable truths that has gotten out of control in the black community. Today, we want to talk about in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to talk about the obesity or overweight. Now, when you think about it, obesity is worse than overweight, and the obesity number is compared, or it will be lower. Okay, if you look at these numbers, these are overweight numbers in the African American community. 82% of women are overweight. Obesity, well, I'll talk about overweight first. 82% of women in the African American community are overweight. Compared to 69% of men are overweight. Now, the obesity numbers from what I've read, I read from women, it's like 56%, and for men, it's like 38% as far as obesity. There's a difference. They're being nice on this report right now. They're saying overweight or obesity. You gotta, it's neatly, it's, I mean, you can't add all the two up, because obesity is, is just a, like, there's there are people that are maybe 5 to five to 20 pounds overweight and ain't bad on them. But then there's those, no, excuse my language, there's those straight fat fucks who just don't care how they look and they think they look good when they don't. Which reminds me, dress for the body you have this summer, not for the body you think you have this summer. Now back to the lecture at hand. When you think about it, look, look at, look at, um, the re you want to know the reasons why uh, black folks are overweight or obese? We don't use the doctors like we should, and we have, now that all this, we got all this health coverage, if you look at your Facebook timelines, why is it that black people wait to go, to go to the emergency room when they're sick? I mean, I know they don't have a habit, but don't they understand it costs them more? Well, if they ain't paying, they don't care, so it costs us more. You're better off going to your doctor and having a plan. Like so a lot of you, a lot of us have high blood pressure, hypertension. A lot of us don't know that because you don't know why they don't they don't find out till they go to the, to the emergency room. But if you go to the um, if you go to a doctor, say say when you feel so sick, because, okay, say you go to the emergency room. Then after that, follow up with your doctor. Then have a plan every month, every two months, every three months, every every at the least every four months, like three times a year. That's cheaper for you. And that's overall, then you go into the ER because you have a high blood pressure, and you're just too much of a lazy fucker not to do anything about it. So, that's one thing about them. The other thing is, in black America, poor eating is, uh, is, is, you know, championed. Just think about it. Think, remember when you were little, or even now? Like, I, I like now, I'm losing a lot of weight. Like I said, I can tell I'm losing weight because females are so, ask, tell telling me I'm losing weight, and even my own mother, she's like, what are you losing weight like that for? I'm doing it because I want to get them top 10%, them top 5% of women. I'm not going to try to get, I don't, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being, let me, let me say this, because I know people are going to take this the wrong way, obesity and overweight does not mean ugly. If it means ugly to you, then you have a problem with that. If you have a problem with that, change your fucking life. But back to the lecture at hand, the reason that I lost weight, because like I said, in different times of the year, Am I bigger fat? Yeah, I am fat. Like, if it's the winter time, I'm watching football, I'm eating like 20 pizzas, and it's Operation, you know, hibernation. But, like, right now, I'm not, I'm not as big as I used to be. 
and people are noticing I'm losing weight. Well, I just had to do it. I did it for me. I did it for my longevity. Did it for the kids. I did it because I wanted to be around longer. Like I said, do I see the doctor? I had a game plan. I would, I would doctor. I talked to him. I have a, tr- I, I'll have a trainer again. But I only, I'm good enough to where I don't think I, I need a trainer. There's a point where I'm going to obviously need a, a better trainer. But right now I'm getting by. But back to what I was saying about look, look at our food sizes. We overeat. And then remember, remember when you were little? It happens now. Like say if you have a small plate, oh, you can eat more than that. And they slop more food down on you. And then you look like, hey, look, man, I got to eat this. Whereas now some of us are like, hey, look, man, um, that's my limit. You have to know your limit. And a lot of you are laying around, you're eating. So, or say, like, like like women, a lot of you are laying around when the kids are in school, you're watching TV, you're eating from sun up to sundown. Men are eating because they're laying around, hanging out with the dudes, you're eating from sun up to sundown. And the fact of it is, is it's just, there's, you want to say that this, this, this look is not sexy. And then you guys are the first one to cry. That you want to you want to bang against the beast, and you want to have an army of men and women of warriors to do this, to do that. Well, look at these numbers in front of you. What kind of army are you going to have? That what type of army? Let me put you like this: name one army that was filled with fat people that ever won. Unless you plan on laying on top of them, which how you gonna get on top of them first? They're gonna pick your fat asses off. I mean, there is no reason why these numbers have to be this high. I mean, I know people are going to start making excuses and start doing the old deflections and shaming and this and that. Look, it is what it is. A lot of you girls start saying, well, I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. No, you're fucking fat. Call a spade a spade. If you don't like it, change it. But I, I'm not doing this for, for, for the grown-ups because you guys are ignorant and don't care anymore. I'm doing this for the kids because now the kids are coming out fat with all these medical conditions, like they're having juvenile diabetes because you're fat, lazy asses, or they're, they're laying around eating and causing this stuff to happen. Now, this stuff doesn't have to happen, but again, you got to consider the sources. You, you got to, like, here, here's what they do. They have, a, they have a New Year's resolution. That lasts three days. And then they come to the summer, talk about they look good. You look, look, guys that think that you look good, Here's the, the women don't even want for fat dudes. There's studies where I can bring up where fat women don't want fat dudes. And, you, and guys, you know that. They want their tall, dark, and handsome. But if you, if, you, if you don't want a fat chick, you're fat shaming. But that's another video for another day. But fact of the matter remains. This is embarrassing, and this is true. And then people are going to say, well, they ain't over me. Well, chances are you're fat. I mean, if it, if they, I mean, it just, it's just, it's just, to me, it's disgusting where a lot of this can be. I mean, there's people that have glandular problems, yeah, the yada, the other, say that. But not everybody does. A lot, of, a lot of people are just straight lazy. And the government has done their job on us. Like I said, if, if y'all want to go to war, who, who wins a war of fat people? And if you don't like what I'm saying, change your life. Because everything I'm saying is straight facts. So... Like I said, look at this number, 82% and 69%. That's why I'm the way I am with you women. Because I, I can get the top 10% now. So, I'm good. Let let the guy sweat you that want you. I'm sure there's people out there like that. But, not for me. So, I'm out of here. Peace.